So I'm eating in front of the entrance of the cultural center here in Tagbilaran City, Bohol. Tonight event, Boholana is expected to have a fully packed venue full of people cheering for her favorite candidate. So let's go inside. Let's see more about this event of tonight. Let's go. <music> Before the start, I would like to go to backstage to take a little look what's going on right there. What if you come with me and uh, we check out what's happening behind the scene of the most anticipated event of Miss Boho 2023. Let's go! I'm here with the host right now, Josie Hosts. Everyone. Hi, Sir Paul. Hello, nice how are you? you? It's nice seeing you and here. It's nice talking to you finally after a very long while. Yes, yeah. I just want to ask you though about tonight's event. What do we have to expect? My expectations is a bit higher than last year, of course, because this is now the version 2.0. So yeah. we're expecting that there would be a collaborative of the talented uh, minds and hands who work hand in hand to really produce the best of the best outputs. Exactly, that's what we're looking for. We also have a different format. Usually, instead of the Boholana, we had like the talent nights. Yes, yes. That has been replaced with Boholana. If you can explain what it's all about. Yes, actually, Boholana is, it's not like just showcasing the beauty of the models, which happen to be our Miss Bohol candidates. But this time, we are also giving highlights to our different masterpieces of the Bohol designers. So it's like promoting the talents, the craftsmanship of this talented people, Sir Pao. And um, please allow me to also plug my makeup artist, Jamia, for making my look possible. <laughs> Hi, yeah. fantastic job, congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so I let you work, I let you finish your makeup, yeah, and uh, yeah. good luck for tonight. I'll see you later on. I'll see yeah. you later. Say goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice and cameraman, no? <laughs> Supportive guy. How do you feel right now? Are you nervous? I'm actually really excited because it's the only opportunity to showcase the talent of my town since my costume is made from artisans in our town and the story behind it is something that isn't um, displayed um, regularly so yeah I'm really proud to showcase the story and talent of my town. So I'm really looking forward to see the costume we're going to wear later. Miss now is uh, she's just done with her makeup and now uh, how do you feel? Ready for tonight? Well, I am actually ready for tonight, but at the same time also nervous how to execute the costume, but I'm really trying my best to really do all the things that I can do and let people see how to justify my costume actually. And a lot of people are coming in tonight, I know, so right? I believe the pressure is there. It is actually, I'm very uh, nervous <laughs> right now, but actually I'm so excited. The, the little trivia I have to share to you guys is that I want, I really like the adrenaline when I am mm. in the in the midst of the crowd, even okay. though I'm not in the spotlight, but I like people uh, coming in and you know, the excitement, the adrenaline yeah. is rushing over in my yeah, on you my You can body. feel the energy already in the area. I know, so. even backstage, so backstage pass. <laughs> How do you feel? Hello, sir. I actually feel um, nervous, but at the same time excited because I've been waiting for this. And this is like after so many years, after a few years since 2017, this is um, uh, the first time that I um, come back to the stage again. Okay, here is getting busier. Let's get out of here because they just announced that the event is about to start. Let's see. This is the production number first, and then we'll change into our costumes, okay. and then that's done. What will you be wearing? Can we know? Well, you really have to see for <laughs> that, but a little bit of a, um, let's just say, a sneak peek, but I, I'll be wearing something very ethnic, oh, like one of the tribes. Mm. So it's not really like other costumes, it's very more into what the culture and what is very popular in place. But mine is something that I'm promoting inclusivity 
So that's what's the hint for my costume, tribe and inclusivity. You heard you want to be a teacher one day, if I remember correct. Oh, yeah. What's the most important thing that you learn of Miss Bohol that you would like to share with your students one day? Uh, we have to really cherish and really preserve our culture because here in Miss Bohol we're showcasing our rich culture, talents, arts, uh, heritage. So by wearing my dress that I'm going to wear, wear later on, I feel so happy, I feel so satisfied. It's really fulfilling to um, experience that. They're just known with a production number, they come out, they dance, they introduce themselves and now they're going here behind stage changing. By the way, all the costumes that they will be wearing tonight that are made by Boholano designers. So in this event they're really emphasizing and highlighting the local designer and local costume and style. Now here with one of the designers of tonight's event. Please can you introduce yourself? Um, good evening everyone, I'm El Joel Aranzado and I am the designer of Municipality of Patuan. This is not the first time you're joining Boholana, um, right? This is my second time, sir. Last year's Boholana is one of uh, the best experience because this is the first time, but this now is, uh, there's a uh, tanising and upgrade na ang Boholana. You can really feel that it's uh, another level yes. already. So it's a new concept. I was, I was talking with the host earlier that it's not the talent show anymore, but they want to showcase some more the costumes, uh, more the designer, give them a, a platform also for you guys. I guess yes. you're very grateful to this opportunity, to the organization. Yes, this is a great opportunity, especially for me, because as a designer, we can express our um, imaginations or to, in terms of costumes, especially um, Batuan, we represent the Makapiko River. Okay, okay, so uh, something that also represents the municipality. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm recording everything with my camera here, but I can see those guys here are doing a much better job than I do. I guess I'm just going to use the footage of this good idea.
easy to be out there with all the camera and eyes on you? Yeah, so I feel so very happy because my beloved Alicia Hannons were there supporting ah, okay, me. Yes, yes but um, I feel overwhelmed as well <laughs> despite of the heavy headdress. But I'm so happy that I was able to manage it very well. It's a very beautiful costume and uh, it looks like a challenge to walk with this and still yes. look confident like, as you did earlier. Yes. So I believe you had to practice a lot. Yes, I did a lot of practice because as I've said earlier, this is quite heavy. <laughs> Hello, my beloved Alicia Hannes. Thank you for supporting me and please keep on supporting me this coming July 15 on Coronation Night. Thank you. Uh, actually, my costume, it wasn't made by local artisans only. We had um, pieces of the costume distributed to people from the municipal, from the municipal hall, from the LGU, yes, and they they helped us in um, attaching sequences and gems and stones in the costume itself. Yeah, so it really is a town effort. That's why I'm so, I was so glad that you approached me, so I got to tell this story. Shout out to the, all those people, to all Antiquera, right, that is there supporting you. Um, I am really just grateful for your support. It's something that something that I know is special and you can't always have it and just thank you so much I hope that I hope that you'll be proud of what I can give you tonight and whatever whatever may be we'll, we'll come out of this happy and anti Kera still I can feel the emotions in you it really means that these people is close to your heart I'm sure you won't let them down thank you <laughs> how was it out there well you know I But of course, I'm bringing the whole town of Batuan. This gown is um, this is primarily made for uh, Manik. Yeah, as a native Manik. And we also have here for a while. This one, this showcase the amazing um, natural resources of Batuan. We have the Makapiko River. And at the back is, we also have the famous Batuan Church. And also, uh, the farming since um, but one is known for for farming yes so that's it to my municipality which is but one thank you thank you so much for coming here you know but one is a very far place but thank you so much for your efforts for supporting me thank you thank you so much i appreciate all your 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 amazing cheers thank you thank you so much start the feelings to be out there with all the eyes on you with all the cameras on you I feel a little bit nervous, but when I see the people of Lila, I feel confident and I'm able to show to them what Lila can do. Yes, offer. I could hear a lot of people cheering your name, a lot of people screaming and getting excited about you. A message for them, for those people. Um, to all my supporters, thank you, thank you so much with all my heart. And I hope that you will um, continue to support me until the end of this journey. Thank you. Can you tell me something more about what you're wearing tonight? Well, what I'm wearing tonight is inspired by the Butandik, which is famous in our municipality. Who's your designer? So my designer is Miss Christine Gonzaga. And here she is. Ah, okay, okay. Beautiful dress. <laughs> Second runner-up for best Boholana costume is Trinidad. Alright. So our first runner-up is Municipality of Itabanka. Such a tight competition it is, Drake. Ladies and gentlemen. The grand winner for best Bohlana costume is Antequera! Antequera, congratulations with really your feelings right now. I'm just I'm so incredibly relieved. <laughs> I'm just so relieved because this is the effort of my municipality. I'm thinking about their effort makes me cry even until now and I'm just so happy that <laughs> I'm just so happy that I want something. I give I can give something to them in return. Well deserved, keep it up. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.
Your feelings right now, I mean, uh, when they call your name. Uh... I really cried because I told God, please, this is not for me, this is for my municipality because they've been doing so much, they've been so hands-on and so supportive and I want to win for them, not for myself. Yeah, I, I can really see, I mean, uh, you had a huge support for Inabanga. Maybe you didn't win the first prize, but you won the heart of many people here. Yes, I am so thankful for also to everyone who cheered for me. 